Okay, so far we have done the homepage, we've done uh, the podcast page, the podcast show page, um, the podcast episode page, um, as well as the uh, dashboard page. So the last uh, page we are going to do before we jump in and start creating our Rails application is the sign-in page. So let's jump back into uh, Sublime. I'm going to close out of these. Uh, let's create a new file. Save this as um, sign-in.html. So I'm just going to open up like the podcast page and copy from the banner uh, closing div to the top. Let's paste that in. Then let's uh, close the body and the HTML. All right, so if we go to sign in, we have the... Uh, stuff we copied over from the podcast page. Uh, so what we need to do is change this uh, header. So let's go to Photoshop and uh, let's go to the podcast page. So what I want to do is let's hide the text and then I'm going to go through and pick out a photo to use uh, in place of this banner for the sign in page. So let's go to the photos. Um, after looking at these, I kind of like the one with the woman walking away. Uh, so I'm going to use that for now. Let me move that over. And then uh, let's unlock these layers. And then I'm going to select this photo. And then I'm going to drag this uh, new photo on top. So uh, I'm going to hit command or push command and hit M and let's uh, move the marquee over so it cuts off a bit of her head but shows her shoulders. Let's do something like that then command T we can bring it up in line with the other one. Let's see what the text looks like with it over top. Uh, we could say something maybe like welcome back you look beautiful today only a little creepy. Then uh, let's uh, darken the image up a bit so the text pops a bit more because this image is a bit lighter than the other one. So maybe go to 40, let's try 50 percent. Cool. Then let's uh, highlight this image, uh, grab the marquee, um, command click on the uh, mask and then hit C to crop it. And then I'm going to hide the text and do a save as. Uh, let's change the width to 1500 pixels. And then let's drop the quality down uh, maybe to 80. We could probably go a little bit more. Try 70. That looks pretty good. And we got it down to 57.98 uh, kilobytes. So let's save that. Um, I'm going to call this the uh, sign in banner. So save that to your images directory. So now uh, let's uh, replace this image for the sign in page. So what we're going to do is go back to Sublime, open up the application.scss file. Uh, now instead of the podcast banner, uh, let's copy that and paste that in. Let's do a sign in banner and then we'll change the file path to go to sign in banner.jpg and then what we're going to do is then sign in.html we'll change the podcast banner class to sign in banner so if we go back and refresh now we have that new image perfect so at the same time let's uh, do one for the podcast uh, sign up page so let's go back to our photography. Let me bring that back up. Uh, there was one other picture that I really liked. Uh, it was this one uh, with this guy just uh, chilling on the ledge. I think this would be perfect because we could crop it with him sitting. Um, and cropping wise, this would be the perfect, perfect height. So uh, what I'm gonna do is go back to Photoshop and select that bottom layer, drop this one on top. Let's scale it up. We'll cut off his head just a little bit. 
All right, uh, let's do a save as. Actually, let's uh, bring up the text and say, uh, what could we say? Uh, I feel like it's a bit too dark, so let's drop drop it down to maybe f uh, 40, 45% opacity. Oh, good. All right, let's save that. Do same as before, 1500. And let's drop it to, we'll keep it at 70 uh, quality. And then it comes out to 79.5 kilobytes. And then we'll do this as sign up. Uh, banner.jpg. Um, I already had that, so I replaced the file with this one, uh, but you probably don't, so I would save a new one. And then I'm going to hit Command Option Z uh, multiple times to undo everything I did so we don't mess up our uh, podcast show page. All right, so now let's go to uh, Sublime, create a new file, save as sign-up.html. And let's paste it in and change this to sign up banner. Now if we go back to Chrome, refresh, create a podcast. Create a podcast, uh, sign up. Well, the banner is not showing up, so... Let's go to Sublime Images, sign up banner. Oh, okay. Uh, in the application.css, I have yet to add that class. So let's create a sign up banner class and then we'll point it to the sign up banner JPG. There we go. Oh no, I uh, did a save as uh, with the text. That is no good. I wonder if I can just redo and get to that same point. So to redo, I'm holding uh, Command Shift and hitting Z multiple times. Okay, so let's undo that. Um, and then do another save as. Sorry about that, guys. Let's do 1500, uh, 70 quality. And let's do another save as sign underscore up banner replace. Okay, now we will undo this. Okay, good. Glad that is fixed. So refresh. There you go. Now the actual text is on top. Let's change that to um, create a podcast. It's 100% free. It's a good uh, call to action. And then in the sign up, let's uh, change it to the welcome back. Um, it's nice to see you. It's nice to see you. Perfect. So um, I'm going to add a few inputs to the sign in page not going to do all of them just because uh, we don't quite know at this point how or what inputs we're going to have. Uh, so we can always style those later uh, as we get into the Rails application. Uh, but for now, let's do the generic ones. Uh, I will add, let's uh, add a ID of or div with an ID of form. And then let's do a wrapper skinny. Then we'll do a form tag. Uh, Delete the action because this form isn't going to actually be functional. Let's put each one of these in a field class and then we'll add a label. First one I'll do label, delete the four. It's not really necessary in the static design. I'll do email. Then let's add a break tag after that. Then I'm just going to add an input type equals email. And then let's copy this, go down the line, and we'll change this to password. And change the type to password. 
and then let's do a class of dot actions and we will do an input uh, type equals submit and let's add a class to this say button and button highlight and also let's add a third class called button block And I'll show you what that button block does in a bit. So let's refresh. All right. So we have the email. So we have the email, uh, the input, or the label, the input, and the submit button. So what we are going to do is go to the application.css. Let's bring it in this tab. Let's go down to the bottom uh, above the imports. So what we're going to do is go down to the bottom uh, above the imports. Uh, we are going to style the inputs individually. So we're going to do style uh, block opening and closing block or bracket uh, type equals uh, email. And then I'll copy this and we're going to do type equals text, comma type equals password. You know, I'm just going to go ahead and put a uh, text field as well as a uh, text area. Refresh. Whoops. And this wouldn't be a this would be a text area. And let's change this to text area and this to text. Just test it out. There we go. So let's uh, make sure we style each of those and then let's add text area. So for each of these, let's do width of 100%. So go back, refresh, looks good. Um, before we style that more, let's add some spacing. So the dot field class, uh, let's add a margin of 0.5 RAM on top, zero, 1.5 RAM on the bottom and zero. So now we have some spacing in between. That looks pretty good. Uh, now back to the inputs. Let's do a height of 2.5 rem. Go back, refresh. So that makes the inputs a bit taller. Uh, let's do a padding of 0.5 rem and 1 rem. Before we save that, let me show you. If you don't have padding, it goes right up against the edge of the input. So if I save that, go back and refresh, you can now see, actually that added padding to the height. So let's try 0.25 rem. There we go. Um, let's make the background the light gray color. So let me see if I could find, um, I'm going to define a light gray variable. So let's just say light is a hex E D E F F five. So let's make the background uh, light. Let's have a border, one pixel solid, and then let's darken the light color. Uh, just slightly, let's do a 5%. That looks great. Let's add a border radius of uh, 0.35 to each corner. And then if you notice how the input and label are butting up right against each other, let's fix that by adding a margin top of a 0.5 rem. Go back, refresh. Perfect. So next, let's uh, take care of the text area. And let's uh, style it by doing text area. Let's do a min height of 8 rem. Text area, there should be more uh, text, obviously. Yes, let's add a margin top 0.5 RAM like the others. Hmm, so that uh, style is not taking effect. I bet uh, something is overriding it. So what I'm going to do is important. There we go. So if you add uh, exclamation important to a CSS rule, that means this will get run no matter what. Uh, these should be used uh, very sparingly. So use a uh, caution with that, obviously. Then next, let's uh, style the form. And let's just do a padding of 
three RAM zero and six or five RAM zero to make sure the button's not up against the bottom. That's looking good. Actually, we probably don't need any on the top. We could probably just do zero. That's perfect. Okay, so uh, the button block style that I was telling you about. So what I want to do is uh, for that style, let's go up to the buttons under button white. Let's add dot button block. So this is just going to be a display block and then we're going to change this to margin zero auto. And if we go back and refresh that way, it is centered in the middle of the form. All right. So I don't think we need to really do the uh, podcast uh, sign up page. I really just did that to make sure we have the background image, uh, but the inputs are all styled. So I think we're good to go. So next up, we will get to the fun stuff and actually start creating our Rails application.